Hello again, Christ Church. This is Pastor Mark. It's Tuesday afternoon, March 24th, 2020. A greeting and a question. The question is, do you tend to worship? Do you tend to consume? Is it okay to do both? Do you know the difference? A lot of people in our culture don't. A word about worship, at least a few words about worship from the book of Revelation, the Revelation of Jesus Christ, of course. That's the title of the book, The Revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 5. John, who's been caught up to heaven, gets a vision of what worship looks like. Revelation 5, 11, Then I looked and heard, I heard the voices of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Consuming can hear a beautiful piece of music and say, That was great. I loved it. I might I think I need that. I think I I think I want to own that. Worship says, What a good God we serve. How glorious that was. How beautiful. Thank you. And may feel no need whatever to own it, but very much wants to honor the one that inspired it. The one on the throne, the Almighty, the Heavenly Father. The Lamb, Jesus Christ. From this beautiful and mysterious book, we get a wonderful overwhelming picture of worship. There's a song I want you to listen to. There are two links in the in the comments right down below this video. Uh, two songs on, uh, actually the same song twice, two versions of it on YouTube. Uh, the song written by Andrew Peterson and the uh, another rendition of it by Chris Tomlin. Pick one that suits you better. Listen to both. I'd recommend it. It's a gorgeous song which you could either consume, either version, or you could allow it to, to enable you to worship. Give them a listen. Check them out. Check your heart. The Lord be with you.